Hello, my name is Kathy Drabevsky, and I'm the solutions architect here at Databricks. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Mosaic AI Vector Search, a serverless and highly performant vector search engine designed to easily build generative AI applications on Databricks. First, let's talk about what is Mosaic AI Vector Search. We'll go over the key concepts here. First one is embeddings. Embeddings are mathematical representations of the semantic content of data, typically text or image data. Embeddings are generated by LLMs and are a key component of many Gen AI applications that depend on finding documents or images that are similar to each other. A vector database is a database that is optimized to store and retrieve those embeddings. And vector search is a vector database that is built into our Databricks data intelligence platform. It stores vector representation of your data plus metadata. It is tightly integrated with Unity Catalog and highly scalable, providing a low latency production service with zero operational overhead. It has a simple interface that makes it easy to query vector indexes. Some of the common use cases are rack systems, recommender systems, and image and video recognition. Now let's talk about why should you use Mosaic AI Vector Search. There are several benefits of using Mosaic AI Vector Search. First is reliability and performance. Our vector search is scalable, reliable, and highly performant. It has extremely fast index build times with Delta Sync API and automatically scales out to handle billions of embeddings in an index and thousands of queries per second. Second, it has deep integration with Unity Catalog, and you can take full advantages of UC governance and auditing capabilities. Vector search shows that lineage and track automatically without the need for additional tools or security policies. This ensures LLM models won't expose confidential data to users who shouldn't have access. It is also very easy to use and has simple but powerful APIs that support high performance filtered queries. Data table columns are automatically indexed as metadata for efficient filtering. It is serverless, will handle all infrastructure on our end, and it automatically compute and sync embeddings for ingest and query. No need to set up additional pipelines. Lastly, it has industry-leading security practices, compliance, and privacy guarantees. You can visit the website to learn more. We've covered what is vector search, why should you use vector search, and now let's talk about how to use vector search. To use Mosaic vector search, you must create the following. A vector index, vector search index, which is created from a data table and is optimized to provide real-time approximate nearest neighbor searches. Vector search indexes appear in and are governed by Unity Catalog. You also need to create a vector search endpoint. This endpoint serves the date the vector search index. You can query and update the endpoint using the REST API or the SDK. Endpoints scale up automatically to support the size of the index or the number of concurrent requests. We provide three API options for indexing vectors. Delta Sync API with managed embeddings, Delta Sync API with self-managed embeddings, and Direct Vector API. I'll share more details in the next slide. Here, I'll discuss more on the three different APIs we offer for vector search. Delta Sync API with managed embeddings, 
This is the most performant and scalable solution. It supports incremental refresh and sync automatic tuning. If you have your own embedding, you can go with the second option, Delta Sync API with self-managed embeddings. You provide a source Delta table that contains pre-calculated embeddings. As the Delta table is updated, the index stays synced with the Delta table. Direct Vector Access Index. This is a completely DIY option. You must manually update the index using the REST API when the embeddings table changes. You can opt for Direct Vector Index, but just be aware that there is additionally, additional overhead as compared to Delta Sync. Now let's jump into a demo. This is the Databricks Unity Catalog Explorer. Uh, it's a centralized place to store and manage all your data assets, including tables, functions, models, and other assets. I have an input table here called Databricks Documentation, and it has three columns, the ID, content, and the URL. Now let's go ahead and create a vector search index from this table. So go to create and then vector search index. And in this pop-up window, uh, you just enter your index name. Here I'm going to use a demo index. And I'll choose the ID as my primary key and the endpoint I just created. To create an endpoint, it's actually very simple. If you go to the Compute tab under the Vector Search, you can just simply click on Create and enter a name. And that's how you create an endpoint. Now let's go back to the previous tab. And for the columns to sync, I'm going to leave it blank so that it can sync all my columns. And for the embedding source, I'm going to use the Databricks to compute the embeddings. If you bring your own embeddings, you can use the existing embedding column. And for the source column for embedding, I'm going to use the content. And then I'll use the GTE large embedding model. I also want to sync the computed embeddings back to a new data table, which is stored in here. And I'll leave the trigger mode as of now. Once I hit create, it will take a few minutes to spin up this index. And then this is what it looks like when it's the index is completely created. You can see the index status, the serving endpoint, data ingest status, embedding model status, endpoint name, and a lot of information here. Now let's look at how to prog programmatically um, create those resources. So here, after I set up my configurations, I can see the same table in the notebook. And then I'm going to create a vector search endpoint using the vector search client. And I can create a vector search index. I just need to pass on those parameters that we've seen earlier in the UI. And once it's done, you are able to set up a similarity search by calling this similarity search function. And then you can just, you know, put in a question in the prompt. How can I track billing usage on my account? And then it, it will give you a result of the instructions. So we saw how easy it is to use Databricks Mosaic AI vector search to build your Gen AI applications. Thank you for watching.